But now let's start with Wix blocks. It works pretty much like the same as it worked with the Wix chat app. So we just click on add to site and now Wix installs this application on our site. It takes a few seconds. And now you can see here in the menu, it adds the block item to the menu. And here you can see some dummy posts. These are posts from Wix, but now we will start writing our own blocks. But first, let me show you what Wix added to your site. So in the site menu, we have the block and we can move this up, for example, next to the About Us page. And then you can see here block pages. And you have this block where you have the summary of all posts as an overview and you have posts. So when someone clicks on the blog post, they will see it in this format. One second. Yeah, it will look like this. So this is a blog post on your site and now we can edit this one. So we can simply click on manage posts and it will bring us to the dashboard of Wix. You can also access this part just in your dashboard if we click refresh. Then you see it added the menu item block and we can click on it and then it will give you an overview of things you can do. So here you have some post templates, which is pretty cool, like a product review, recipes and yeah, all blogging tools like blog reports, outgoing notifications, SEO settings and so on. So take a brief look at this, but we want to jump directly in into the blog posts. And here we see we don't have any blog post yet because before this was a dummy post. And now we can simply start creating one. And this is the blog post editor of Wix. It does look different from the website editor. This is more focused on writing text. And here you can just start writing your blog post at the headline and then just start writing the text. Of course, I don't want to do this myself. We live in the age of AI. So I asked ChatGPT to write me a blog post on how to create a website with Wix. And it just spits me out this text. And then I can just simply copy and paste it and paste it in. So I don't have to start from scratch. So I just jump here and put it in. And of course, the headline is a little bit big. So I will just cut this out and put it into the headline section. And now we need to do some basic formatting. So we just have to add some spaces here. So it looks a little bit better. And as you can see, it's a normal text editor like you would have in Word. You can just jump in and add some spaces. I will do this really quickly for us. And now I have added all these spaces here. So this looks good already. And if you want to take your copywriting to the next level, I can recommend you Jasper AI. This is like a new tool out there, like a new AI to writing blog posts. And it's a little bit better than ChatGPT because ChatGPT is focused on everything. And Jasper AI is an AI built for marketing and for writing blog posts. And they have a lot of good templates there. So the blog posts from Jasper AI will just turn out to be better, but it does cost quite a lot. So only if you take things serious and then you can try out Jasper AI for your blog post copy. But I'm good with the blog post from ChatGPT and I would just jump in and make it a little bit better and make it my own. So therefore you can, for example, just add some images. So you can go here and click on images. And this works like the same on your site. Either you have your own image to upload or you go on Unsplash and I type in website. And let's see, for example, this one is cool. So I can just put it in. Yeah, this is a little bit big, so I can just edit it and just crop it a little bit. So I just crop this down, click save. And you see how good Wix is. So inside the blog post editor, you can even manage your pictures and crop them and make them better fitting for your blog post. So this is pretty cool. And you can go in and do a little bit more. So here you have all the content elements. You can have images, galleries, videos, GIFs, and upload files and even buttons and tables. So you can really extend the functionality of your blog here. And you can also add HTML code or SoundCloud players even. So this is pretty cool. But I want to show you how to add a video. So I can just go here and now I can either upload my video or for example, I have a YouTube tutorial on how to build a website with Wix. And then I can go ahead and just paste this in. 
and it will automatically embed the video for me here inside my blog post. So this is pretty cool. Now I have a picture here and a video and of course you now would add some more. You can also have some content AI features here in Wix and here you have basic text editing features like you would have in Word or PowerPoint. So I don't think I need to explain this part. And now this would be a blog post and most importantly for us now, before we even start writing this blog post, we need to think about how we can rank this. So there's always keywords. In this blog post, it would be how to create a website with Wix. And I just checked out this keyword here on Ubersuggest. We had already the topic of keyword research tools. So this one is a free one by Neil Patel. And of course, how to make a website is quite common. Like the search volume is quite high in the US, but the SEO difficulty is quite high. So 80 is really, really high. You need an established site and a really good blog post in order to rank for it. So I think there's no chance in ranking for this keyword. And therefore, I wouldn't bother writing a blog post for it. I would more go for easier keywords, like easier search terms you can rank for. For example, how to make a website with like a website builder, which is quite unknown in the space, like a newcomer or how to make a website with AI, which is like a more fresh term because AI just has been around for like a year or two. Yeah, how to make a website is just too complicated and therefore you need to get creative and have different topics. I always have the comparison of, for example, if I would have like a cooking site or like a bakery site. And for example, there I would post something like how to make a cake. This is of course also quite difficult because there are so many cakes out there. And therefore I would recommend you get like a very niche cake, like a cake which is not so common and then make it, for example, vegan. So if I would have a recipe for like a vegan carrot cake, then I would more or less have a bigger chance to rank for it because there's not so many recipes out there for a vegan carrot cake. Probably vegan carrot cake is still too popular, but you get the idea. Just take search terms which are not too common so that your blog post has a highly chance of ranking. And yeah, I wouldn't recommend you to write about how to make a website because this is near to impossible and it's just very disappointing if you write a blog post the whole entire day and then no one sees it in the end but we just have an example blog post here and it's also how to create a website with wix which is a little bit more easy but still very complicated but let's see how we would make sure that google will find it because we used the keywords here in the headline and we used the keywords here in the text but now we need to go to the settings and we also need to use the keyword here in the excerpt which is like a summary of the blog post so I can just copy this paragraph here put it in and the most important part is here under SEO because here we can go under basic SEO and now we need to have the title tag which is in Google like the title which is always in blue or pink so how to create a website with Wix a step-by-step -step guide this title text shouldn't be too long and same goes for the paragraph it's also limited by character and now this is how our site will appear in google so how to create a website with wix which is good so you can read it on mobile in today's digital age yeah i would actually change this part here to like a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a website with wix and of course you have the url slug so this is your domain and then slash and how to create a website and here I would make it a little bit shorter and I would just go with Wix website minus tutorial, which is also a good keyword to rank for. But you don't want your URL slug to be the entire headline because this is way too much text. So make it shorter, make it, for example, vegan carrot cake. <laughs> so just three words and then people will find your website more easily. And of course, we want search engine to index this site. So therefore, we need to turn this on. It says here you've turned off indexing on your entire site, so it won't show in search. But of course, we don't want to do this so therefore we go here and say okay search engines can index our site this is important because then google can find us so let's go back to blog posts all posts and now we have a draft here let's go back and edit this seo settings 
basic. So yeah, now it's blue. So the search engine can actually index our site. So make sure have a title tag, not too long, have a meta description. You can also create some AI text here with Wix, which is pretty cool. We just need to set a focus keyword, for example, Wix website tutorial, and then click save. And then it will automatically do us a favor here. So now AI suggests us like some meta description. So I can just use this text, learn how to create a stunning website with Wix website tutorial from setting up your account, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is good. You get the idea, get creative and always think about that these are people clicking on your Google search results. So make sure it's kind of interesting and kind of tempting to click on it. You also have like the advanced option. I think you don't need to change anything here. But again, as we had this with pages, we have a social sharing image and we can upload our own image or I will just use the same image like we did in the blog post and just add this. So whenever someone shares the blog post on WhatsApp or Facebook or LinkedIn, this image will appear first with a title tag and the description here. So this is good. And let's go back on settings. Here we have some more. We have some categories. For example, we could have a category website tutorials. And we can also add like an online store tutorial section. So, but this one is about websites. So it stays in the category of website tutorials. And we also have some tags. So I could say this is a Wix tag and a website tag. So we can find this blog article with these tags. And now we just have two more options here, the monetization option. So however you want to monetize your website or your blog, for example, with your service or your product, but some people just write blog posts for the fun of it and then you can monetize your blog posts. So people pay a subscription fee every month to read your blog post. So this is a way of monetizing your blog post. And to do this worldwide, you can also just start translating your blog post in French, in German, in Spanish, and just start translating those with Wix, which is pretty cool that Wix offers this in-house. So we don't need an extra application for that. So this is the first blog post. We just wrote this with ChatGPT in under like half an hour. And now we can go ahead and just publish it or we can schedule the posts. And then you can go ahead and click on schedule post. And let's say on Monday, next Monday at 8 a.m. just publish the post. But let's publish the post now. So I click on publish. And now Wix has a pop-up. So we can either send out an email campaign to all our subscribers or we can make a social post about this blog post which is pretty cool but i'm good for now let's go back on our website and click on publish then we can take a look at our site go to blog and here we can see the preview of our blog we have the two categories like website tutorials online store tutorials and then i can click on it and now this is how the blog post looks which we just added to our website and yeah people can like it they can share it and they can also comment on your blog post which i think is pretty cool already so yeah now you would go ahead and write up some blog posts for your website and as said the purpose of blog post is that you get traffic to your website. So for example, if you have your cooking website and you write a blog post about carrot cakes and about New York cheesecakes and about, I don't know, strawberry cakes, then of course people are searching for all these cakes on Google and you want to rank for the search terms and people should find your site for the search term they are looking for and then they land on your blog. And at some point you of course want to pitch them your product or your, for example, if you have a bakery online course, Course, then they can just enroll into your course or if you have an online store selling cooking gear then they can come to your site read the blog post and then they find your store and then they buy any gadget they might need for cooking this cake which you describe in your blog post so in summary the sole purpose of blog posts is to capture clicks and traffics from google so people land on your site read it and in the end you can pitch them your product or service so you saw how easy it is to add a blog post to your site